One thing about these Lego motors is that they have only one speed. They are either on or they are off. So there is only one speed that the motor can rotate at and one specific amount of torque that it can generate. Now speed is a concept I know you're all familiar with. That's how fast the motor is spinning. But what is torque? Torque is the motor's ability to spin when weight is added. How much weight can your motor take before it's unable to spin anymore? It should stand to reason that the heavier an object is, the more difficult it is to move or spin. So we can think of torque as the motor's power. Power and speed are not the same thing. Using gears, however, we can increase either the speed or the torque in our Lego motors. But in order to increase one, you have to sacrifice some of the other. So if you connect two or more gears that are identical, then all of the gears will spin at the exact same speed. But what if you connect a larger gear to a smaller gear? For example, what if you connect this large 40 tooth gear to the smaller 24 tooth gear? Because the teeth move past each other one at a time, once the small gear has completed one full circle, the large gear has only completed just over half a circle. And once the large gear has completed a full circle, the smaller gear has moved around one and a half times or spun one and a half times faster. You may notice as you are watching the gears spin that the gears spin in the opposite direction to the gear they are connected to. So this gear and this gear are spinning in opposite directions, but this gear and this gear are spinning in the exact same direction again. You can use this knowledge to make things spin faster. For example, if you connect a larger gear to a motor and then have it drive a smaller gear, the smaller gear will spin faster. If you connect the wheels of your car to the axle on the smaller gear, the wheels will spin faster than if they were just connected to the motor itself. This should help you create a car that can go faster. You might think that gearing up or spinning your gears faster will increase your power or torque, but actually the opposite is true. This little swing arm spins very fast, but how much power is it generating? Now I've attached a metal caster to the swing arm to make it heavier. And although the motor is able to spin faster, it is not able to actually swing this heavier arm. The motor only has a certain amount of energy. So if you use gears to increase the energy applied to speed, the energy applied to torque is automatically decreased. If you reverse the way you connected your gears to generate speed, connect the 24 tooth gear to the motor and have it drive the 40 tooth gear, the 40 tooth gear will spin one and a half times slower than if it was just connected directly to the wheel itself because one revolution of the motor is now only moving 24 teeth at a time. Why would you want to do this? When is slower better? As crazy as this sounds, when you slow the rotation down like this, you increase the torque the motor provides or its ability to lift a load. You can see here again with the exact same heavy swing arm the geared up motor could not lift, this geared down motor moves with ease. This is because of the increase in torque. So it may not be able to move as fast, but it can drive a lot more weight. You may see this when you try to gear up a car. Even though its top speed may be faster, because of the reduced torque, it may take time to build up speed because of the weight of the car the motor is trying to push. If your car is geared a little lower, it may not be able to go quite as fast, but it will get to its top speed much quicker because of the increase in torque. In this case, torque means quicker acceleration, but not quite as high a top speed. With your new understanding of speed and torque, you may be able to solve many more challenges you are presented with this year when trying to engineer with Legos.